What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? It's your boy Charles. Charles and his work. That thumbs up button, the notification button. I appreciate you guys watching this video and clicking on my video. Thank you for clicking on this video, guys. Um, I want to get into it though. Let's start start right into it. This is uh something that I it was, it was something that I was checking out on the news, man. Um, stop acting like a coon. A black chef was allegedly called racist slurs and fired from a, from an Atlanta restaurant after complaining about it. Now the business has to pay him one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> Hell yeah, get that money. Shoot. Uh, Gerald McGrath had been working for Iron Hill Brewery and Restaurant for less than a year when he began complaining to management about hostile work environment where where black, Hispanic, and female employees were being mistreated by the company's training staff. Mm. But the Georgia, the Georgia, the, the Georgia, the Georgia black man ended up getting fired a month later in an apparent act of retaliation after he was told by a sous chef to tone it down and to stop being a C-O-O-N, if y'all know what that means. That's a, that's a racial slur. Uh, now the restaurant chain has been ordered to pay a grad $115,000 in a settlement finalized, finalized on June 17th. Hell yeah, get that money, play that race card. If you got it in your deck, play it. Everybody else plays their car. People play the LGBT car. People play the Hispanic car. People play the Asian car. And sometimes people play the white car. So everybody else can play their car. But when we play our car, oh, you're playing a, you're playing a race car. You damn right. When somebody sit there and say you damn right because you because you being you being a racist for real. Go ahead, go ahead and pull out your dick if you're black in America. I'm down with it. Um. It says, uh, it, uh, it was the latest setback for the Delaware-based restaurant chain that opened its first restaurant in Georgia in December 2020 with much fanfare and anticipation, only to shut it down in May 2024, just over a month after McGrath. Oh, wow, they ended up going out of business? Only to shut it down. Over 115000 Only to shut it down. Uh, in May in 2024, just over a month after McGrath filed his, loss, filed his lawsuit in uh, federal court, the restaurant train, which was which has locations in Delaware, Pennsylvania, oh, it's a restaurant chain, Pennsylvania and South Carolina, um, and one remaining location in Georgia, blamed the closure on post-pandemic challenges as well as declining to foot traffic. Oh, the clan put traffic, according to the Atlanta Journal. Wow. That's crazy, man. However, a review on Welp reviews shuttered locations posted during its four year extension existence reveals an establishment that did not patronize customers, earning a less than stellar rating of 3.4 out of 177 reviews. The lawsuit describes a work environment in which a non-black bartender complained about too many black servers while wow. working at the establishment and not enough pretty white faces in the bar. Wow. But that bartender was never fired at the employee's complaint to human resources according to lawsuit, according to the lawsuit that looking for a professional photographer for your next big event. Need video of your special day? Then look no further, for $100 an hour have a professional photographer or videographer, shoot your wedding, birthday party, quinceanera bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah, anniversary party or whatever your special occasion may be. Highlight your event with professional, crisp, photos and video. Check out Charles Arnes Photography on Instagram as well as book us for your next event. Must live in the Southern California area. It was filed by the U.S. Equal Employment Commission on behalf of McGrath, the federal agency that enforces civil rights laws against workplace discrimination. 
the complaints. McGrick began working as a line cook for the company in November 2020 after a month before it opened its first location in Georgia in the Buckhead district of Atlanta and was promoted to sous chef in training within a few months, according to the lawsuit. But he was bothered by how the training team was treating minority employees, including blacks, Hispanics, and women. So he reached out to regional management to complain about the mistreatment on June 3rd, 2021. When that complaint went nowhere, he made the same complaint to the local management team five days later on June 8th, including to the general manager, the interim executive chef and its acting supervisor. But the mistreatment continued, so he, so he complained twice more to regional management on June 15th and June 28th, but his complaints kept falling on deaf ears. His suit stated, the retaliation began on July 2nd, 2021, after he was sent home from his shift after asking his acting supervisor to treat him like a human being. He was also told not to return until he had a chance to review his previous write-ups, according to the lawsuit. Wow. But he had no previous write-ups to review. The lawsuit states that after he was sent home on July 2nd, he emailed management to inform them that many current and former employees have concerns of verbal abuse verbal assault, discrimination, and mistreatment because of gender, discrimination, and mistreatment because of both race and, and citizenship. On July 5, 2021, Iron Hill Management responded to his email by asking him to provide additional information about the allegations of discrimination in the workplace, which he did. However, management responded the following day by issuing McGrit a final written warning Wow, they sent him a warning about him. About him being. <laughs> they sent him a warning. And they races to him. Now you don't you let don't you complain about us calling you the calling you the N-word. Like these white folks was crazy. Which also happened to be his first written warning. Accused they was trying they was trying to get him up out of there. They was trying to get him up out of there. That's why they did that. They start to get, they're trying to complain, complaints, complaints. Now we can just go ahead and let you go. You know what I'm saying? Those, 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 those write-ups, three, they give you what, three or four chances, then they get you up out of here. According, um, accusing him of acting aggressively when he asked his supervisor to treat him like a human being. Anything we do, he could have been as meek as possible, but being he's a, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how, they don't have a picture of his brother, but being, I think they have a picture. I'm, I, I got to find it. But being that he's a black man, you can be, hey, hey, could you stop? Can you treat me like a human being? That's a, oh, you, oh my God, call the police. That's aggressive to, you know what I'm saying? That's aggressive to him. Um, on June 11, 2021, the restaurant sous chef told McGritt to tone it down and to stop being a C-O-O-N, which is a racial slaughter. But that did not deter McGritt, who sent the sous chef a text message stating the following. I am not going to do anything uh, fireable. I won't be intimidated to quit. I am no C-O-O-N, uh, no thug to be taken advantage of. Um, he was fired the same day. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, it's good. Uh, true is his word, but Grit refused to be intimidated and contacted the EEOC to file a complaint about this about discrimination and work environment at Iron Hill. So that's who you. So I'm thinking that's who. So EOOC is that everywhere you can. So black people in America, if y'all feel anybody being. Um, discriminatory towards you on the workplace anywhere don't hold your tongue contact the eeoc on the ass um that's that's the best way to 
hurt and get results from a um, person that is a bigot is to um, hit them in the pockets. That's the only thing they care about in this country is money. They don't even care about life in this country, but they care about that money. You got to hit them in the pockets. Don't act outrage. Don't act like how they think you are. It's okay. You go right down and get you a lawyer like homeboy did and get in them pockets. Um, the federal agency began investigating issues and eventually determined um, there was a reasonable cause to believe the title uh, Susha was violated, which is part of the 1964 Civil Rights Act that prohibits employment discrimination based on race, color, religions, sex, and national origin. The EEOC reached out to Iron Hill in September 2023, attempting to resolve the issue without having to file a lawsuit. But the parent, but that apparently went nowhere because the federal agency sent a notice of failure to, to failure of conciliation, conciliation in November 2023 which is the final step before filing a lawsuit. The lawsuit was filed on March 25th, 2024, resulting in the $115,000 settlement and in a consistent decree that requires Iron Hill to install an anti-retaliation policy as well as providing annual mandatory national training on how to not to violate federal law with, with discriminatory and retaliatory practices. This consent decree would also requires Iron Hill to provide a grit with a reference letter stating he performed well in his position and was a good employee. That's what I'm talking about. So that way he can get his money and he can get him another job. That's what I'm talking about. Hit they behind in their pockets. That's the only time they know how to to treat us with respect is if you gotta go get them in them pockets, baby. You know, that's why I shoot. I may go to Bloomingdale's in all black and walk around and have somebody videotape security watching me and take that to the EEOC and get me some money. Shoot, white folks do. White folks sue you sue all the time and nobody bats an eye. Start it's time for us to start suing. Not no frivolous lawsuits, but if, if you feel like you really are being wrong. Hit their ass in their pockets. Anyway, what do y'all think about this video, man? Leave your comments. Hit the thumbs up button. Check out some rest of my content, man. Check out some more of my content. I got some other cool videos. I got some cool documentaries y'all can check out. Got a documentary on Tupac Scarface. Check them all out, man. Oh, I also got a cool story about Juicy J from 3-6 Mafia. He got check out his videos on my channel too. Um, and yeah, hit the notification button, man. Thank you guys for watching. Check y'all later. Hey, do you want some free money and gift cards? Wow, who doesn't, right? Charles Arnsworld will be hiding cash and gift cards around Southern California in the month of June. These gift card money drops will be daily. Want to get your hands on some? Subscribe to the channel to know when's the next money drop.